Google Sites Advanced Tutorial How to Create a Website with Google Sites Hey guys, in this video I will show you guys how you can create a gorgeous website like this with a booking form on Google Sites. So let's get into it. Now you can use one of a pre-existing templates that are provided by Google, but we're going to start from scratch because I already have an idea in mind. However, if you want to make your life easier, you can use a template and just customize that. But we're going to open up a blank site over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is add my name for our website. So this is going to be called Emelyn. So Emelyn Fashion. And then after that, I'm going to click on the top left and then also enter the name over here. Once I've done that, I can also choose to add a logo and click on select. And then you can choose a photo from your drive or choose to upload a photo. I will upload a photo from here. And then after I have added my logo, you guys will see that we have this little bar, which is our header bar. But I want to customize the appearance of that as well. So I can go into navigation on the top and then click on top. And then we are going to change the color to black. Now, once I've done that, we have our second section, which is our banner section. So in our banner section, I want to add an image, so I'll click on upload. And I have created this trilayer image that I will be using, this one over here. However, if you want, you can add any image you want. You can add this one. You can add whatever you personally prefer. I just like this image, so I will add that. And then I will click on the header type and add this as a cover header or a large banner. Now, once I've done that, I can add some text to the center and I want to add fashion or elevate your style like this. And then after that, I want to customize the text a little. So I'll click on the text and then change the font style like this and then place this at the center. And once I've done that, I can start building our next section. Now I want to maybe add a let's connect section. So let's say I want to add a section where I can link people to my social media. So for that, there are different ways you can go on about this. You can just directly go into social links and add those over here. For example, I'll just add a direct link to TikTok like this. And then once I do that, I can click on paste and click on insert. And this will just insert a TikTok icon. Then if I want to add Pinterest, I can go on ahead and copy that and then go into our links section on the right where we have all of our links, add a link and then paste that over here. Now you guys will see your links will be created and you can choose the icon sizes like this and then choose the shapes you want to use. If you want to use a square one, if you don't want any shapes, if you want a circle, I want this to be square and I want them to be solid with a white color actually white color and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to align them to the center and then move this block to the center and then i'm going to click on the section color click on image and then click on upload and i will upload a simple black colored background i'm just going to use my logo image as a simple anchor and then i can insert my logos over here now if you don't like this particular appearance i don't like it i like to use a different type of way to do that where i can use this kind of section pre-built section and what i will do is i will first off click on the text box and drag and drop it over here now in the text box i will write let's connect on socials like this and then i will change this from a normal text to a title text place it at the center and then change the font into whatever font you like. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the background where I will upload a blank black background like this. And then after that, below that, I will change the color of this as well. So I will upload a similar black background for this where once we have added a black background, I'm going to delete this section so I'll show you guys, uh, where I can upload a simple image. So I will click on over here and then click on upload. And let's say one is going to be an image from my Instagram feed and one is going to be an image from my Pinterest feed like this. And then I'm going to add Instagram over here and then I can add Pinterest over here. Now below that, I can add the icons that we have. So we can go into the right and then go into social links and then we can insert our Pinterest links over here like this. 
and then place it within this box. So right under there, I'm going to place it under Pinterest, or you can also place it right beside it as well by reducing this like so. So you can reduce the size and then place it over there as well. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and add TikTok as well, or what was our first social media platform, Instagram. So it's going to be Instagram.com and then click on insert. And then I will drag and drop this right over here, right under it, over here. And just like that, we have a more interesting look for our Instagram and Pinterest links. Now, after that, you might be wondering, hey, how can I build a booking page? Well, for a booking page, go ahead and go into a new tab and search for Google Forms. Now, Google Forms are directly integratable into Google Sites. So just head on over to google.com slash forms and click on go to forms. From here, using your same Google account, you can use one of the pre-existing templates. And let's say I want to build a simple booking form and I will take this find a time event registration form or I'll build one from scratch. It's totally up to you, but I will take this event registration form and I can customize that. Or you can start from scratch if you want. If you want to start from scratch, let's do that instead. So everyone can build as we go. So let's say this is going to be a fashion consultation and then i will add the first question which is going to be your name like this and it's going to be a short answer and then i will duplicate this or add another question which is going to be email and i will make all of these required questions like this and then after that i will add your fave color like this maybe your fave color and then after that maybe our last question for that and this is going to be a short answer as well. And then after that, we might have, you know, let's say this is it. That's all we require. So once we have this fashion consultation form ready, we can just click on send and let this be uploaded. Now, once we have created our form on our Google account, we can go back into our website builder. And then on the right, you can click on insert. And once you click on insert, if you scroll to the bottom, you have the option of forms. So you just click on forms over here and you will see your new form and you're going to click on that form and click on insert. Now this will insert that form and then we can place it at the center like this. Now, once we have placed this at the center, you guys can see fashion consultation, name, email, and your favorite color. And then you can provide fashion consultations. And if you want to launch this website, just click on publish on the top right and then add your chosen web address. If you have a custom domain, you can upload your own custom domain as well. And then click on publish to upload your Google Sites website. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.